Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello everyone, I timed this very poorly with an upcoming 420, so we're going to have a quick start and a quick finish to this one, there won't be much chatter afterwards. I'm going to put most of this stuff up, but I'm going to keep anything that is just alkable and alky, because it will give us better value. Look at that. There's a bit of money just to start the day off. We will be going straight to our birdhouse room. I think I'm going to have quite a chill day today and just hit some sulfur nagua. Nothing too complicated. I will do alks, of course, because... Can't be inefficient, but yeah, uh, yesterday was awesome. The amount of loot we got was crazy, super happy to see. And it's actually a good time for it, so I was kind of tempted to go straight back. But I'm not going to, I'm going to hold off, because I don't think it's good for my uh, anxiety levels to be there two days in a row. Okay, got some more nests. Just want to be able to see things a bit clearer here. I think that's everything we want. I can't see a thing. That's the problem. Yeah, invent's a little messy right now, but doing what we can. Maybe I shouldn't have got all the compost actually thinking about it. Got to be careful, don't want to accidentally elk more ours, which I also noted. I'm going to move those down there. <laughs> oh, we have clues to do too, too don't we? I might do my clues, actually. Like I say, I'm, I'm going for a pretty chill day today. I don't want to, like, just too heavily do any one thing. So maybe I'll whip round, do a few clues. Maybe go to Miscellanea and just top up with some extra money there and do our claim. Just little things. Have a nice, relaxed day. Maybe we'll go train for a little bit, but not for a, a full, like, 45-minute session. Because we have both a hard clue and a medium clue. We got a medium clue as well yesterday. Maybe I'll start regicide as well, who knows. I'm moving kind of slow to be honest, so it's a good job I didn't go into the wildy. Ah oh, fuck, I didn't compost the last patch. We are going to have to go back and do that. I don't want to waste a whore in our seed on a patch that will more than likely die. At least we've still got stuff to alk anyway. It's not like the running time is true downtime. Decent all though, 47. There we go. And now we go to Varrock for our staffs. Wagwan's off. Put the battle staffs up. Put the Renar weeds up. Laugh and giggle when all our money comes in. Alright, let's put this away and grab these clues. What we got here? Otter's Grotto and CIS. So we've already got our, whatchamacallit, uh, Dream and Staff. We'll grab ourselves a games necklace and a jeweling ring and, yeah, I guess a glory. I suppose I'll get some teleport runes because I'll more than likely need them for the future steps. So yeah, we'll just grab some runes as well. Okay, near the East Ardy Rapids. Uh, it's just an Ardy teleport, I know that much. I'm gonna fucking clue though, to be honest. Oh, I'm not doing this M thing again. Up there, okay. Should've got a stamp too. There's everything alked now. Don't know if everything's sold just yet. Okay, we got a wilderness step there, so let's swap over to this one. And in fact, we're gonna go get a reset and a stamina potion. See what I was saying. 
the medium clue excites me more than the, the hard clue as well. Because the medium clue could just be ridiculous. Whereas the hard clue could be decent, but the medium could be absurdly redonkulous. You know, bunch of awkward shit. Okay, goes to the GE. Bloody awkward shit. Get some extra money while we're here. The sell special. Oh, F to me for not having the you nil know, teleport on this account. I keep pressing M, god damn it! Oh no! Baldur's Gate is actually ruining me all. I can't lie. It's ruining me. What we got? Arcus Mine, Zaya. We just went there. Alright, neck ache. Keep feeling like I'm leaning forward. Never heard of fucking Clarice though. I almost, I, my, I did it again then. My hand went over to the M key. I felt it happen. I don't even feel like I use my map that much when I'm playing Baldur's Gate, which is the weird thing, but yeah, fuck this place. Anyway, with agility shortcuts, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. At least we brought darts. Always bring Alx, folks, if you want to be efficient. Only if you want to be an efficient sway nerd, not if you just want to, like, you know, enjoy yourself and play the game the way you meant to. Oh, we got the casket! It's not good, but that's okay. Let's pop over to the GE. Pull that for sale, pull those for sale, pull that for sale. Okay, what well, was this step? Zomria Wizard Wilderness and off the resource area. So we don't want any Alks with us anymore. Don't want any gear other than a DDS and a glory. I think we're pretty good. Not waste any time. Easy peasy. Another clue. It's not a wieldy step. Out we go. In fact, it's an Edgeville step. Which is convenient, seeing as though that is where we are going to get out of the wilderness. Shit, now I actually have to figure out what I want to do, because this clue's probably done. Maybe one more. Alright, Mr. Fatsack. Thanks for not killing me. Oh, I want the wrong one. Oh, can I not choose? Okay, Edgeville it is. Must have had to do like a wildy diary for that or something. Let's go. We got a rune full helm. Oh, the purple sweets though, that is actually nice. Never mind. Complaints, no more. That is a lot of money. That is a decent amount of money. Alright, quick pop back to the GE. Alk that. We'll shove that up. Well, 350k in there, around about. Not too much. What cash have we got right now? Alright, we've got 3 mil. I think I'm just going to go shove that in miscellaneous. We've got these as well. I need selling. Alright, we're chopping the safe tree because this tree's bugged. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm just selling false information, but fuck this tree, man. Until someone tells me it's not bugged, someone official tells me it's not bugged, it's bugged. Because I never get favour when I, like, approval rain when I cut this one. Fuck that tree. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark it as a horrible bright red. Yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna click that tree. This tree, this is the beautiful, beautiful, lovely shade of green. Because it's a safe tree. Because it's not bugged. How quickly I just got up from 96%. Well, there we are. We're so rich right now. Things are good. I'm gonna have 5 mil in miscellaneous. It's funny because it looks like my cash stack keeps getting lower every time I come here. But I'm, it, it's all still my money. All it means is we're getting more value out of our miscellaneous. And we can still withdraw it at the end. How about that? I don't know how many days that was. 751k worth. Okay, I'm gonna have to collapse some of this stuff. So I'm gonna undersell if I need to, to make sure. Just carefully checking all the prices are actually lower than what the current offer is, because some of them go higher like this, but may as well try them first. Alright, so now we've got 5 mil in miscellaneous and 1.3 mil in the pocket and two days of renar seeds plus a lot planted. We are looking pretty damn groovy in the money department. In fact, we're looking that good. Why don't we just grab ourselves some blessed dragon hide right now? Why don't we? What do we want? What's the Zamma? 
That's not too bad. I don't know if there's better ones. Ancient? Okay, that's cheaper. Gothics is usually cheap, isn't it? Sour? I think the Ancient was actually the cheapest. We'll go for that. Excellent, look at that. Now we have more and more of our gear starting to come together for raids. It is wonderful to see. Okay, we'll whack that up. We'll get an offer for another one in. And then I think I'm going to go spend the last half hour or so doing some training. I think this was just the level of chill day that I wanted. Just steady doing bits and bobs. Okay. Get our gear together. Not gonna need that many potions because we're only here for an half hour. Right, the blades are on strength at the minute. Yeah, we do still want strength. One more level. One more strength level and then we're moving on to attack. So maybe we can just get that strength level today. Who knows? Right, potions acquired. Time to go chill for a bit. You know what? I said I wanted a chill day. Oh, I just saw an 1816. So close. I said I wanted a chill day. I also said I was in a rush because it'd be 420 right after this. And literally when I say after this, I mean within three minutes of my time finishing. So I'm just going to chill. I'm going to chill and actually allow myself to AFK these cunts and roll a spliff. This is still one hour limit locked, but it's a reminder that even when we're trying to be as efficient as humanly possible, everyone still needs to give themselves chance to recharge between the 10 stairs. Oh, I'm gonna throw a couple specs off in a single. Don't wanna let that get too high. Look at that, now I'm nice and prepared. I don't have to stress about rolling after I finish this. I just lost aggro. What good timing, right as I finish rolling my spliff. And the great thing about that is the strength XP did not suffer at all. Just my magic XP, which I care far less about at the moment. We will be getting a fair share of it from bursting. A lot of our gear's coming together now, honestly. We now got the blessed dehyde chaps and body. I was expecting that to run us about 700k. I think it was cheaper than that in the end. It was like 500k, so... But that's one less thing to worry about now. So I can green that on my list. We already got the fury and brimstone. That's two more slots done. We got the blood bark. That's another slot done. When I say slot, I just mean like on my list, a thing that we no longer have to do. So really, all we're looking at now is a couple of larger items and a trident, but we can't use the trident just yet anyway. And we can't use the bigger items just yet because we don't have the level requirements for them. But what's left cash wise? Looking like about six mil worth of gear. That being a trident with charges, a blowpipe with charges, a blood moon chest piece is what I'm hoping to go for in the melee slot. I'm not gonna bother with legs for melee, they're not as important. And then a serpentine helm I would like for the helm slot, but it's going to require 75 defense, depends if we get that high, but that would be a very nice helm slot to upgrade from the Nezzy. So yeah, that's what we're looking at at the minute, and then maybe about like 2 mil on supplies I've, I've put as a budget for, you know, darts and potions and whatever we need, but the gear, at least, is starting to come together a lot more. It really is just those four items left now. Blowpipe, the trident, the blood moon chest, and the serp. And we could probably just buy them all. If I took more money out of miscellaneous, we'd probably have enough to just buy them all. But we don't have the level yet for them, so we may as well be getting value out of our money. So yeah, we're getting to the point where we almost have enough stored and in various items to buy all the gear we want, which means that... I can actually start thinking about using money for other things. I can think about investing a lot more in bursting than I was maybe planning to because we can afford more runes or I can start thinking about other upgrades 
maybe we even want to consider a fang or some bandos tacits or something. I don't really know what the price of those items are without looking it into it. I just know their potential upgrades that could improve our, our, our run. So there's definitely things to consider because we're not going to stop making money at any point. Another thing is that it just means we don't need to spend much time dedicated to making money. I was actually planning to spend a lot of time bursting at the Colosseum simply to make money by getting Sunfire Splinters, but we've managed to accrue so much passively through farming that it's not really necessary anymore. I don't think we really need to dedicate like actual days to, to money making at this stage. We've just got passive income from the farming, the miscellaneous, the bird's nests. And maybe even some more coming in through agility courses and shit like that. And we're going to be fine on the money front. And it's one less thing to worry about, which it's probably the first season where we've not had a concern of shit. We're going to run out of money. Another 18, 16, And there is 67 strength. We're at plus 15, y'all. There we go. We can move on over to attack now. Nice to see, indeed. Big level coming in there. We're just two levels away from our goal in attack. I'm not going to stay here for very long, of course, though. I did just lose aggro, and it's almost the end of the day, so we'll be going to do our birdhouse as soon. But... May as well stay for a couple more minutes, because I don't have anything else to do with the spare time in the end, so... Ooh, we've still got a, a 35 max hit, because I just saw a 17 still. So the max hit has not changed, even with that double, double extra level coming in effectively, because not only did I push and buff go up one, but the level goes up one, so... 82 strength is our effective level at this point. Alright, I'll do me. Grab this, go turn in the sulfurous essence, and then we will get our birdhouse run done. Like I said, there's not going to be a long wrap up today because it's 414, but we got a decent amount of XP to be honest. We're just f about 4k there in attack. Thank you for that rune crafting XP. We get a level there up to 41. Here we go, four, 4k in attack. Tiny bit of wood queen from miscellanea, 13k in hit points, slowly advancing, surely going higher and higher. I reckon we will be at 75 or 80 by the time we're going into raids. 67 strength now with 36k XP coming in there from the Sulfur Nagur training. And we will have our regular farming and hunter, of course, about to come in as well. Just gonna go do that hunter. And then, yeah, a bit of magic XP as well from Alkin, both darts and random shit that we had from uh, the wilderness course yesterday. We got two clues done. The medium was not that great, but also didn't take us that long to do. We just got a hunt level there as well. It's been a very mixed matched day of random things here and there, but it's it's worked out pretty nicely for us, I think. We got our blessed dehyde, and we've now got over five mil in miscellaneous, ticking away profit for us. We've still 850k just signed the invent. So yeah, a very solid day indeed. A very solid day. I'm uh, pretty happy with how it turned out, considering that, you know, I kind of said I wanted a chill day, and we've had a pretty chill day, but it's still been really productive at the same time. That's uh, always nice to see. We've still got these tickets to turn in. I will obviously be taking them at some point. I'm going to be doing Regicide too. Do you think I want to get these attack levels first though? I think that's got to be my first priority because then we can finally get into the Warriors Guild and start that grind. We'll be able to say goodbye to the Nagua for a little while at the least and and set our sights on a Dragon Defender instead. And by the end of that grind, we will be hopefully closing in on the end of our melee training. Well, we shall just have to see how it all progresses, of course.
I am going to sign off now. I've got two minutes to get myself outside and light up. But if you enjoyed the video, please do make sure you leave a like. It helps out a ton by throwing me into the algorithm so more people find my content. And just let me know that you enjoy the work I'm creating, so I keep doing it. Hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already, of course, so you don't miss out on any of the future content. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Do you think I should go do the melee training? Should I go do regicide? Should I go back to the wilderness agility course? Because it's actually kind of fun. Am I saying that? Two things I hate in this game are the wilderness and agility. And I like the wilderness agility course. What's wrong with me? Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you in the next one.